uh, that's good to know. So let us begin the class. So today's demo class, let us discuss a bit uh, on the theme of vacation, especially how somebody can go about planning their vacation. Okay, so uh, over the next few slides, there will be some pictures. I will ask you some questions. There will be uh, perhaps small passages which you or I could, any of us could read and you can answer some of the questions. And then we will finish off with the quiz. It's very, it's very simple. It's uh, don't be frightened or nervous about this. It's just an interactive session, okay? So I will start off with this. So as you can see on the screen, I have uh, on my screen four pictures of four different places. All of these have to do with something, have to do something with the theme of travel. So for instance, what, what do you think uh, these places are? So there is place A, place B, place C, and place D. Each one of these is a different kind of picture, right? So could any of you tell me what, what is it that you see in, uh, in these pictures? What kind of landscape do you see a city? a hill, a plain, a mountain? Do you see nature? Uh, do you see a resort? What, what, what do you see? Anybody would like to begin? Anil, because your uh, video is the most reliable uh, connection that we have right now. I can't see. Okay, yes, I can see you now. Anil, would you like to start off? First, tell me what kind uh, of... Uh, is yes, sorry. A is a one of the city place in houses, big houses, ma'am. Yes, it's a city, right? It looks very urban. There are, uh, it's a street. There are cars. So it looks like a city, right? There are many apartments there. Right, exactly. Exactly. Tall buildings, possibly skyscrapers. It is a very urban scene. So, oh, ma'am. Sorry, you cut off. Sorry. I saw sunlight in two buildings middle. Yes, yes. That's uh, it. The picture is very artistically taken, the photograph, right? So you have the sunlight kind of peering in between um, the two buildings. Probably maybe the sun is rising or the sun is setting. We don't know, but it's a very beautiful picture. Okay, thank you, Anil. Priyanka, are you there? Ma'am. Hello. Yes, Priyanka, are you there? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Problem um, yeah, voice, voice. Network issue or anything. Network issue or anything. Ha, because I am not able to see you on the screen. And I am not able to hear your voice mostly. Um, आपके आंसर कर पाओगे ये को एक कोई भी एक पिक्चर अगर आपको डिस्क्राइब करना है स्क्रीन पे आप आपको स्क्रीन दिखाई दे रहा है क्या फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल नो मैम ओ यू कैन सी माय स्क्रीन ओके ओके अम ओके व्हाट अबाउट ज्योति इस शी इस ज्योति देयर स्टिल Okay. Uh, okay, Jyoti is in there. Okay, Anil, you can keep your video on uh, since you are the only person in the class who has a more or less reliable connection for the time being. I um, So let's just continue the two of us. And the others, please, Priyanka and Jyoti, if she's there, I can't see her on the screen. But please let me know if... Uh, you can eventually start, if you can eventually see my screen, okay? Just let me know because then I will ask you as well. Right now I will just be asking Anil um, the questions because nobody else seems to be here. Okay, Anil, so uh, picture A is that of a city. Picture B, where do you think that is? 
Yeah, in middle, I saw water man, and also uh, there uh, many houses are there, small houses. It is like a uh, very attractive. It is a very beautiful photograph, right? And yeah, there, very beautiful. Uh, and also, I saw mo uh, mountains, ma'am. Mm -hmm. It is also very color, uh, very attractive and very colorful, very delightful to us. Mm -hmm. Yes, because there, it, the colors you know, are contrasting, right? The houses are of one color, and then that is standing out brightly against the snow in the background right there is snow on the mountains and there is snow on the ground right so it's very beautiful picture uh picture c what what do you see in picture c yeah. uh, in the third picture so picture c we one did man picture is here, man. Picture one man is there right. and observing sunset okay that what looks is, more like the are... night sky to me, but okay, sunset. Um, and what else is there? It is uh, he is observing something, ma'am. He is looking at something, right? And what else is there in the picture? Some white. Uh... Maybe what I don't a... know, ma'am. Oh, you don't. Okay, so that is a tent. You know, you, when you go camping. When you go oh, yes. hiking or camping and you stay in nature, you take a tent and it's kind of like a mini house that you can carry. It's connected you. with a white, la white lamp. Yes, yes. So inside uh, there is a white lamp. Okay, great. Uh, now picture D. Just tell me a little bit about picture D. Uh, this is a beautiful nature, ma'am. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, one swimming pool is there and also uh, some trees is there and one person swimming in their swimming pool, he's enjoy a lot. <laughs> okay, I, I actually had missed the person. So good eyesight. I, I hadn't seen that there is a person swimming. But yes, very beautiful trees, uh, blue water, uh, maybe a resort. Some, right, it's possibly a sort of vacation resort, right? Okay, thank you for very much for those descriptions. Now, uh, Anil, if you had to go to one of these places, where would you go? What would be your choice among these four places? A is my choice, ma'am. You would like to go to A? B. Oh, you would like to go to B. Actually, same. I would also like to go to B. B. If... Fourth one. Fourth one is my favorite, ma'am. Okay, no, which, okay, which one? Uh, so the fourth one with the water, with the swimming pool? I like very much in swimming pool, man. So that's why I like that uh, fourth one. Okay, so you want to go to this resort and you want to go into the swimming it's pool. Another another man, man. Okay, Anil, your network connection uh, is a bit um, uneven, but uh, can, could you speak again? Hello? Swimming is my habit, ma'am. Okay, yes. It is urban. Okay, Anil, you, uh, you, your video is stuck. My maybe you is okay, ma'am. Okay, you okay, okay, then maybe there is a connection problem. Okay, but basically your answer was uh, D, you want to go to a resort. Yes. And you want because you like swimming. Okay, thank you very much for that. Uh, we'll move on to the next slide then. So here what we have, we have a small uh, text, it's kind of like an advertisement. So see, it's actually Perhaps an advertisement for this resort that you liked so much in the previous picture, huh? With the swimming pool and everything. Do you want to read this? Do you want yes, to read this uh, passage for me? Okay, you can do so. Welcome to the Paradise Resort. Do you need to relax and soak up to the sun? Do you need to change the recharge your batteries? Paradise Resorts, the ultimate cafe for young couples for and families. 
just 30 minutes ride from Dalman interacting inter, interacting international airport our resort officers a relaxing experience by the beautiful beaches of the south dem turkey our four stars resource includes 300 hotels so, so sweet sweet sweets sweets or sweet balconies and facing the mediterranean sea three mm -hmm. gig gigantic swimming pools with a gigantic three gigantic it is gigantic uh, gigantic swimming pools with spas and water side slides mm -hmm. and all are you can eat before or choose from our a la carte restaurants mm -hmm. snorkeling snorkeling and diving and kite suffering courses don't delay we have great offers for you and your family call us direct on 9054732 281 or visit us at paradisetarkit.com okay okay thank you anil um so uh, just a few corrections for the pronunciation very well read thank you uh, that is so it's a 300 hotel suite so s u i t e s it's pronounced as sweets like mithai you know sweet yes. meats uh three gigantic swimming pools gigantic means very big so there is not one not two but three swimming pools here which is amazing so you can you know choose between which swimming pools you want to uh relax in for the day um then and all you can eat buffet so buffet is you know when you go to these restaurants and there's all the food that you can eat already on the table you can either do that so you can either select from their uh, from their spread for the day or our a la carte restaurant so you can choose from the menu card okay so now um, read this uh, uh, keep this passage in mind we will now uh, try to answer some questions based on what this passage is telling us okay so what what, what is by the way what what do you think this was this was an advertisement right for a resort yeah. okay so now there is some information given here what kinds of facilities uh, this hotel this resort has and other kinds of information so now we will try to answer some questions based on the information given in this advertisement okay so let me wait one minute Yes. So now we have some questions. These are true or false questions. Okay. So I will read out the statement and you can tell me if it's true, if this is what the advertisement has said, or is it false? Okay. Simple enough. We can, we'll go back to the previous slide so that you can keep checking the information. Okay. So the first statement, Paradise Resort is a five star hotel yes ma'am correct so let's uh, see where uh, it says does it say anywhere that it is a five star hotel or uh, one minute no ma'am It doesn't say right. It it uh, so it's not a five star hotel because it says our four star resort. It's false. Four stars. Yes, it's a four star resort. It's not a five star hotel. Okay, so the first qu question, the answer is: Is it true or false? False. False. Correct. Now, second question: The hotel is located in Greece. Is this true or is this false? False, ma'am. Right. Why? Could you? Can you tell me why it's Turkey. false? Turkey exactly. is the answer. Very good. Very good. It is located in Turkey. Exactly. Uh, now the resort offers cooking courses. 
Does it offer cooking courses? No. No, right? It offers snorkeling, uh, diving. Course. These are all, yeah. So it's kind of like you, you paddle in the water, you snorkel in the water, diving, scuba diving, and kite surfing. So there is there are no cooking courses offered. So this is also false. It's very good. You're doing well. You're doing well. Um, okay, let the next slide. There are three large swimming pools in the hotel. True or false? Ah, uh, true, ma'am. Yes. See, you you remembered this because you want to go to the swimming pools. So yes, there are three gigantic swimming pools, like they had said. So. This one also true. Sorry, and the last one, you can relax here and soak up the sun. It is. If, true, ma'am. It's true. Yes, because right in the very first line. Do you need to relax and soak up the sun? So this is kind of, it, it's a rhetorical question, which means this question has its own answer. Yes, I want to relax and soak up the sun. So if you want to do this, you can come to Paradise Resort. So, okay, very, very well done, Anil. I will uh, just one minute to check on, uh, Priyanka, are you, are you uh, there with us or are you still experiencing network issues? Hello, Priyanka. Okay, no, I think it's the connection has not improved for her. Okay, anyway, so we'll continue, Anil. I'll continue with you. So, okay, so we did the true or false sections. Okay, very well done. You got all, all correct. Yeah. Now, let us uh, do this conversation, okay? So, you be Max and I be Sue. These are two, maybe friends who are talking, okay? So, you read out the lines for Max and I will read out the lines for Sue, okay? You can start. I did, uh, I did, ma'am, I did, Sorry, Anil, you cut off I, right there. I did really like to go to somewhere warm this year. I I did really like a vacation at the bench beach. Me too. You ma'am. Me too. What about Greece? How about we go to somewhere like a nice island, somewhere away from big busy cities? Now your turn, Anil. Actually, what about Turkey? Frank went to his family last year and he's really recommended his destination. He's as a destination. Your turn. So how about two weeks in the south of Turkey? And on the way home, we can spend a couple of days in Istanbul. Does that sound good? That sounds is great. At the at the beach, you can relax, do do some sports active and activities. And in the city, you can visit some cultural attractions like museums and historic sites. Okay, okay. So that was a conversation between uh, two friends who are planning to go on vacation together, Max and Sue. Now let's see. Maybe we have to answer some questions, okay, based on this conversation, like we did with the previous slide about Paradise Resort. Okay, so what we will have to do is, there are some uh, kind of statements given, okay? Max and Sue decided to go to the Paradise Resort, put their conversation in order, start at the arrow. So we instead of going to uh, Greece, they went to Paradise Resort in Turkey, like they planned, okay? So now what we'll do is we will put this conversation in order. Like the, how could this conversation have proceeded if they were talking? The, the hint is given, we have to start off with the arrow. So 
okay so we will go to paradise resort how long will will we stay so they are continuing the conversation from what we saw in the last slide okay so yeah, last slide will... yeah so now they say okay they decide to go to paradise resort okay so we will go to paradise resort so how long will we stay so what do you think is the next response I will to this go for two weeks very good well i think we can uh, go for two weeks then what do you think is um, the next uh, part that ne next part of this conversation what 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 uh, did max or sue whoever it is who is talking say after this well i think we can go for two weeks ma'am yes I anil go... sorry uh can you can you repeat that why why don't we go in september that will come after you just missed one thing so well i think we can go for two weeks okay somebody says okay this. what do you think sure i will do it now sure i will do it now no i i'll tell you what i think i think then say um okay let me go to the previous slide previous to call the... so the previous conversation ended with max okay so now let us assume that the orange speech bubbles are max and this white ones are sue so max says okay we will go to paradise resort how long will we stay sue says well i think we can go for two weeks then what does max say i think max says when should we go i mean what date do you want to leave then i think what you had said what do you think will come after this wait why don't you call that yeah. no that that will come a bit later so first then okay anil you are cutting off again aha uh -huh. um anil are you there Yes, ma'am. Why don't you go in September? Yes, correct, correct. So first, they decide to go to Paradise Resort, and then they ask how long. So they said two weeks. They decide two weeks. Then they decide when. When should we go? We'll go for two weeks. That is how long duration. But when? Why don't we go in September? Then what is the next uh, part of this conversation? What do you think is the response to why don't we go in September? Yes, that's good idea. August will be too will be too busy and maybe too hot. Very good. So they decide they uh, decide that August is already very crowded and it will be very hot in Turkey. So maybe we should go in September. Okay. So yes, that's a good idea. August will be too busy and maybe too hot. Then what do you think is the Wait, next? Why don't you call the travel next? perfect see you got it great why don't you call the travel agent and get some more information about the accommodations and then the last sure, part sure i'll do it now very good anil you're doing really great good job so yes so this is how max and sue decide that they are going to turkey on a vacation okay let's move on to the next slide Some language help to you. I think actually we can skip this. It would have made more sense if others uh, were here. We can let's go to this um, slide. Uh, or okay, no wait. Okay, let's do this. We can match the following. you like can it. what activities can you do at your destination match the left hand side to the right hand side okay so okay, if you like peace and quiet why don't you even even i am reading
Good night, peace and quiet. Why don't you? Why don't you take the country? Uh, first one, first man. I think. If you like peace and quiet, why don't you take a vacation in the countryside? Actually, that makes sense. I don't see why it shouldn't be. Yes, correct. If you like peace and quiet, why don't you take a vacation in the countryside? Perfect. Um, how about then what do you think is the next part? We're going on vacations without the kids. Exactly. How about going on a vacation without the kids? That's matching with how about. Okay, great. Good job. If you don't have a lot of time, I think you should. You don't have time. Sorry. Take long weekend near the city. Exactly. Because you don't want to go too far. You don't have too much time. You have to come back for work in the city. So why don't you take a long weekend near the city? Very good. And so in the forest, you can go camping and enjoy lovely walks. Go camping and enjoy long walks. Which one would you like to do, Anil? Would you like to uh, take a vacation in the countryside? Would you like to go camping? And you know, like we saw the picture of the tent and the person who was looking into the horizon. Or would you like a weekend getaway near the city? I go to camping and enjoy lovely walks, ma'am. Okay, you will you will go camping. Okay, that's good to know. Now let's see. Um, each of these let's see what uh, what we have to do. Each of these people wants to take a vacation. Give them a recommendation. Where should they go? How long should they stay? And what can they do there? Okay, so one second. Uh, yes, so Anil, you are the travel agent, okay? You have a company, you have, you work uh, as an agent for Thomas Cook and people come to you asking for recommendations on where they should go and go for a vacation, where they should be traveling. Each of these people, they present their own profile to you. They tell you something about themselves. You understand what kind of a person they are. And then you make recommendations accordingly. Okay. So for instance, there is somebody named Peter Markle, who is 27 years old. He's single, so not married. He's active and enjoys sports. And he loves to be by the sea. Where would you, rec if you were the travel agent, where would you say that he should go? He likes sports. He's an active person and he loves the sea. There is no right or wrong answer, okay? It's just you, if you were an agent and you had to give somebody some advice, yeah. what would you suggest? We, we are choosing for uh, uh, in polar alphabets there. Only we are choosing one. Sorry? What are we, we choosing? We are choosing only one or all. You can make as many recommendations as you want to. So for instance, I okay, I will I will give you an example. Okay, so this Peter Markle. For if, if I were uh, if I was a travel agent and Peter Markle came to me. And he told me that he is active and enjoys sports and he loves to be by the sea. I would tell him that he should go to Goa because Goa has beaches. So he will be by the sea. He can play beach volleyball and other kinds of sports on the beach. And he should stay there for maybe four to five days and enjoy himself. It's so if I were the... <laughs> Sorry? Ma'am, beautiful girls are also there in Goa, ma'am. See, exactly. So he's single. He might just find somebody over there. Exactly. So I would give a, a recommendation such as this. Let's do one thing. Let's. I'll ask you just uh, one more question from here. And then let's do a quiz. Okay. Um, Sammy, Derek. Okay, let's go to Joanne. Joanne Kavir 
25, married. Needs a vacation away from her family, limited time. So what are her requirements? She does not have too much time. She needs a vacation urgently away from her family. So somewhere where her family will not go. She is 25 years old, so not that old, but she's also married. In India, what kind of place? Movie, ma'am. Sorry? I will suggest to you go from movie. You will suggest that she goes for a movie? Yeah. But that is not a vacation, no? Movie she will see and then she will go back home. She wants to be away from her family for a little bit. I will recommend it to he will go for uh, near uh, near to temple, ma'am. Near a temple. Okay. What kind? Where? Where? So, for example, if this was in India, for example, okay. okay. What kind of place, state, or city would you recommend her? Ma'am, he is from he is from Andhra Pradesh and he is from uh, Chittur district. So, I will suggest to you go from you go to uh, Tirupati temple. Tirupati temple. Okay, nice. She can go to the temple, be in touch with her religious side and be away from her family for a while. Okay, sure. I think that works well enough. Okay. Um, okay, so that is, I, I won't do B and C. Also, again, just checking once again. Uh, Priyanka, are you back with us or are you still not there? Okay, no response. Uh, one question for the Edulite support group. Uh, how much time do we have left? Hello, Edulite. Hello. No one is not responding. Nobody no. is nobody is responding because uh, once uh, in another demo class we finished a bit early. So you know I don't want to start something brand new right now. But it's fine. Let's just do one thing. I will hello, hello Angana. What do you say? Hello. Something? Yes. Yes. I was. Sorry. I just wanted to know. No, not a problem. I just wanted to ask how much time do we have left? Yes, we have more fifteen minutes. You have, we have 15 minutes. Okay. Yeah. So I will just uh, do a little quiz then. Okay. Okay, Anil. So I will close this classroom and we will go to go and do another uh, quiz. Okay. Should we do a quiz or a game show? Okay. Let us do a quiz. Okay. Hmm. Pick a question set to play. Okay, I'm um, wow, lots of things on idioms. Okay, let's let's see what we can do. Do you um not idioms? Maybe we can do uh, a kind of quiz on animals, maybe. Is it okay if we do a little quiz on animals? Everything I, think is that, okay, I think that will be fun. Can you see? Can you still see the screen? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's do one thing. Let us play this quiz. It is a quiz on uh, building your vocabulary and the category is animals. Okay. So now question one, which pet does not have fur. Dog. Which one? Dog. Dog doesn't have fur. Are you sure? You know, fur, the kind of like hair. I think it's parrot. 
cat has yes. four, dog has four, rabbit has four. I think it is. Yes, ma'am. Parrot. I okay. This answer I'm giving, but others will submit. See, correct. Parrot does not have four. Okay. Next question. Which animal is not usually called a farm animal? So which of these is usually not considered to be a farm animal? What do you think, Anil? Good. Sorry, Anil, you are cutting off. Could you repeat that? Which animal is not a farm animal? Cat, ma'am. Cat, cat. Cat? I also think cat. that's cat. See, correct. Great. Good going. Now, a baby cow is called a... What is it called? A baby cow. Is it a calf? Is it veal? Is it bull? Or is it cattle? Cattle. Are you sure about that? What is cattle? Cattle is lot of cows and lot of farm animals, right? Lot of oxen. Yeah, but it's... <laughs> yes, yes. What, what? Bull. Baby cow is called a bull. That is a male. I think it's calf. Maybe you are right, ma'am. You know very well. Yeah, the baby of a cow is called calf. Yes, see? You are right. It's a calf. Okay, this is like a, a refresher course on all your high school <laughs> biology. Okay. Which animal does not belong to this category? So, Three animals will be of a certain kind. One animal will be odd one out. Okay. Sheep, cow, pig or cat. Which cat. cat? Yeah. Perfect. Great going. See, we, we, so there are 20 questions. We've gotten the first four right. Let's try to get all of them correctly. That would be great. Uh, which word does not belong? So, um, guinea pig, cow, hamster, or dog? Hmm. Um, Which hamster? word? It does not. Hamster. Hamster, uh, which... hamster. Actually, even I am. Wait, cow, guinea pig, hamster, dog. I am not sure about this one. Oh, no, it's cow. Okay. <laughs> I, I, I don't yet know the like reasoning behind this though. Guinea pig, hamster, no dog. I think it's I think it's because the other three you can keep as a pet. Cow you can't usually keep as a pet. I think that might be the reason. I'm not sure. But anyway, no problem. One one wrong we got. Never mind. Next question. We get wool from a, who do we get wool from? Which of these animals do we get wool from? Sheep. Yeah, it, it, it is sheep. Pig, cow, chicken doesn't give uh, wool. It's sheep which gives wool. They're the fluffy white ones, right? So yes. Oh, look, we are getting more points now. It's no longer just 20 points. It's 30 point questions now. Okay. Okay, the plural form of goose is geese, gooses, geezers, or goose. What is the plural of goose? Anyone? I don't know the meaning of goose actually. Oh, goose is, uh, how do I explain? Uh, they look like, you know, they look like swans. They are like big ducks, okay. but brown colored. Okay. Like not 
I'll have to I'll have to show a picture after this. No, no but okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Anil, do you want to take a guess, or should I say the answer? Ma'am, huh? Anil, can you Anil, do you want to uh, guess what is the plural of goose? It's geese. Wow, it's geese. Mm -hmm. Correct. Which of the following is not a fish? Sardine, tuna, whale, or salmon? Which is not a fish? Salmon. Salmon is a fish. What is not a fish? All of these are what? They are all animals who are aquatic, who stay in the water. But one of these is not a fish. Can you guess which one? Maybe the first one. Sardine? No. Okay, so I will tell you the answer. Sardine, tuna, salmon are all kinds of fish. It's whale because whale is a mammal. It's not a fish. Okay. See, it's a whale. You know everything, ma'am. Yeah. See, I'm I'm a Bengali, right? So I know <laughs> my fish. fish. Yes, <laughs> right. I I know about fish. Uh, so, which of the following words does not belong in the group? So, again, odd one out. Paw, fur, feather, or whisker? Paw. Okay. What do you think, Anil? I think it's feather. Yes, ma'am. No, now Anil is saying yes just <laughs> because I said the answer, no? Because for for you know everything, ma'am. That's why I'm saying no. Say I'm I'm part. taking okay. I don't think that I have cheated on this quiz. Okay, I have not seen the answers beforehand. I am guessing it as as we go. But I think feather be, feathers belong to birds. The others all belong to like you know dogs, cats. Cats have paws. Cats don't have feathers. Feathers only birds have. I think it's feather. Let's check. Feather. Great. Um, okay. Great Which... man, ma Sorry? You have great man. I, I I should get a certificate after this quiz that I got all, all the questions that I answered were right. But anyway, but, uh, one, one, one is wrong, ma'am, already. One wrong. But it's fine. It's We are doing this just for fun, just to improve our knowledge of animals. Now, okay. This which of the following is a fish? Oh, this is it's getting tougher. I know the answer, but I am let's see if you know or not. One of these is a fish. Is it anchovy? Is it walrus? Is it seal or is it dolphin? Maybe the first one. I don't know. I'm just I, guessing. No, no, it's a, it's anchovy. It's anchovy. Anil, what do you think? I think it's anchovy. Now Anil will say, yes, ma'am, I also think. Ma'am, if you are think Anjoni, I am also said that Anjoni, ma'am. See, this is, is taking, okay, next answer I will not say. You will guess and then, but it is Anjovi. Because again, the others are all mammals. Yes, anchovies are like small fishes and you often put anchovy oil to improve the taste of many food items. So see, this is, if I did not know this, I would not be a Bengali. So now, uh, next question is, a herbivore is an animal that only hunts at night, sleeps during the day, lives, uh, lives in the jungle, or eats grass and plants. Which one? Herbivore. You remember from your school days, carnivores, herbivores, omnivores. What is herbivores, ma'am? Ah, if I tell you that, that is giving the answer. Do you? So you don't know what a herbivore is? 
uh, eats grass and plants ma'am yes yes exactly so for example a cow is a herbivore cow does not eat the meat of other animals right it eats grass and plants so cow is a herbivore you know that's why herb because it's like related to grass and plants so the hint is there in the question itself oh now it is now it is becoming difficult even for me which mammal is not a primate human Mangos. gorilla yes you are right mongoose is not a primate gorilla monkey and humans are all primates i also think it's mongoose are this was a 50 point question and you got it right that was great very well done now all birds have beaks have teeth eat fish or can fly can fly are you sure all birds can fly all birds yes ma'am can an ostrich fly an ostrich is also a bird i think it's all birds have beaks beaks i think because there are some birds which can't fly ostriches can't fly kiwis can't fly okay ma'am first one is the right answer i don't know i don't know i think it is have beaks right even i right great yes we are we are do, we are doing well just one wrong till now let we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7, seven questions let's see if we can finish it uh okay anil your video is off all reptiles yes, are warm blooded cold blooded venomous that is poisonous or only active at night what is the correct answer cold blooded yes i think it is cold blooded also by the way who is who is there in the from the support group is that um, adiba yes yes i am here. okay yes yes so do you what what do you choose adiba i don't all, know about this i think it's what anil said all reptiles are cold blooded let's check adiba mm -hmm. we are doing very well I love this team. We should go to Kon Banega Karodpati. Which mammal is not a rodent? Squirrel, rabbit, monkey, or beaver? Which animal is not rodent? Beaver. Hmm, this is a bit tough. I think it is monkey. Monkeys are not rodents, right? Like the others are all small. they can go into your houses and they can i don't know steal your cheese or something i think it is monkey what do you what do you want to go for anil yes my monkey is go side way anyway <laughs> that's what i said ma'am you are yes right i don't know i might be wrong okay no i'm not wrong <laughs> you are right ma'am not i am right again Okay, which big cat does not have spots or stripes? This is very simple. Everybody knows this. Does not have spots. Does not have spots or stripes. There is a spelling mistake in leopard, but uh, leopard. Leopard does That's not have. Leopard. Does a lion have spots or stripes? spots yeah stripes sports. in the body it does not it's lion lion only has a mane right it has the mane all are the cheetahs leopards and tigers they all have uh, spots on their body or they have a tiger has stripes this one is it was very easy i think it's definitely lion maybe you are right it's lion You all need to watch Animal Planet again. 
Okay, just a few questions left. Let's let's do this and then we'll wrap up the class. The dash the is dash the fastest, the fastest land animal. animal. Jaguar, leopard, panther, or cheetah? Hmm, this is a bit. Hmm. First one, ma'am. Yeah, I am also confused between jaguar and cheetah. I am not. Let's go with jaguar. Let's. I don't know. I think Magic it's either cheetah, jaguar or cheetah. No, no, I, I'm not sure. Okay, this I'm not sure. Okay, I, I'm confused also between jaguar and cheetah. Ma'am, cheetah means cheetah. Sorry? Cheetah means Which... cheetah. Fourth cheetah... one. Should we go with cheetah then? Let's see. Okay. Ma'am, that is... Oh, sorry. That is not your answer? I'm asking, sure. ma'am, Chita is Chiruta or not? I don't know what Chiruta is. What is Chiruta? Okay, let's Jagar, go. ma'am. Do you want to choose Jaguar or Chita? Final uh, question. Ma Adiba, you can also say. Let's go with Chita. <gasps> Okay, it was cheetah only. Okay, great. This even I wasn't sure. Okay, the af. Oh God. Okay, this is difficult. I I don't I don't know if I know. The African okay, elephant African has African. two trunks, two tusks, and big ears. Two trunks, a tusk, and big ears. A trunk, two tusks, and big ears. A trunk, a tusk, and two ears. I think it's number C. I think it's number C. They have one trunk, they have two tusks, and they have very big ears. I think that is the African elephant. What should we do, Anil? What do you third think? One, you are also choosing third? Okay. I think I don't know. Fingers crossed. Correct. You don't know, ma'am, but you, you're you always but putting I the guess, answer. But I, I wish I am this lucky in, uh, in exams I take in my life. Okay, very quickly, let us finish the last two questions, okay? And then we will wrap up the class for today, okay? If an animal is mostly active at night, it is, oh, this is a bit, it, it is advanced vocabulary. It is diurnal. Omnivorous, nocturnal, or a marsupial? Can you guess? Fourth this one, is a bit difficult. Fourth one. Maybe fourth no, one. I, I, it's, it's nocturnal. I'll tell you why. Because nocturnal means wh whoever or whatever is active at night. So if, if you go to sleep very late, I can say that you're a nocturnal animal. Because you are always up late into the night. It is nocturnal. Marsupial is a, a koala bear is a marsupial. It's a kind of category of animal. Omnivorous are animals who eat both grass and meat. And diurnal is opposite of nocturnal. Things active during the day. So this is definitely nocturnal. And now last question. Let's do it. And finish. Always Which... right, ma'am. You say whatever you say. Whatever you <laughs> Which... say, that is the right answer. Now I'm just because I am just thinking about the options and trying to eliminate the ones which don't make sense. So, which statement is not true about marsupials? So, which of these is false? Okay. They live in a pouch as babies, they drink their mother's milk. They are born very underdeveloped or they are found only in Australia. Hmm, I am not sure about this one. Fourth one is ma'am, maybe. Hmm, I also think that is false. I think maybe there are marsupials elsewhere. Like koala, but koala bears are marsupials. Oh, oh God, I, I don't know this, but let's see. Wrong. 
Correct. So see, Anil, you got it. Oh my God, we just got. We got like nine hundred eighty. Oh 